In this video, I'm going to explain how to apply the constant dollar analysis on an escalated uh, cash flow uh, for a project uh, evaluation. As I explained in previous video, inflation is an indication that shows the increase in the price uh, of a basket of goods or services over the time. But escalation is uh, is an indication of uh, price increase for one uh, good or service. Uh, I explained that we can calculate the escalated cash flow, escalated dollar cash flow by uh, compounding payment at each year uh, by the escalation rate. In the constant dollar technique, we will try to remove the effect of inflation and considering a constant purchasing power because escalation rate includes inflation and we want to remove this effect and consider a hypothetical constant purchasing power. We can remove the effect of inflation from the escalated dollar cash flow by discounting payment at each year considering that the inflation rate. Let me explain how to calculate the constant dollar cash flow in an example. So in previous example, in the previous video, we applied the escalation rate of 12% for the given cash flow that we had. So in order to calculate the escalated dollar cash flow, we compound each year's payment, each payment by 12% uh, escalation rate. And we calculated the escalated dollar cash flow, which is, uh, which is the escalated dollar cash flow as you can see here. So now we want to remove the effect of inflation rates and calculate the constant dollar cash flow. Please note that constant dollar cash flow can be calculated only after you already calculate the escalated dollar cash flow. You already consider it an escalation for your payments. Now you want to remove the effect of inflation and you want to consider a constant purchasing power and calculate, which means calculating constant dollar cash flow. So in order to calculate the constant dollar cash flow, we need to discount each year payment, each year cash flow by the inflation rate. So present time payment is not gonna be affected by any uh, inflation or escalation. Escalated payment at year one, $11,200. So we want to calculate the constant dollar for this payment. We multiply it by, we discount it by uh, one year and 6% and so on for the other uh, payments. Year three, we discount it for three discounting period and 6% of inflation rate. And the result. So the escalated dollar of $11,200 in the year one equals the constant dollar of $10,566. It means, considering the inflation rate, the escalated dollar of $11,200 in the year one has the same purchasing power as $10,566 at the present time. 